Ivan. Uh, I am uh, I'm a Kenyan. I am uh, 26 years old. And I, I am an artist, a visual artist, and uh, auto designer. Yes. Tell us more about uh, this, uh, this vehicle, the model that it is, how it started, the whole operation of it. Uh, this car. It is a, a hand. It's a man-made. It is a, all from from the it's it, it, it chassis. It is just designed as an art piece. Yes. So it's called Mitch M7. Mitch M7 stands for an acronym of a uh, um, made in Guru, uh, um, uh, move, uh, moving art model seven. It's a moving art. Um, <clears throat> Guru is a place in uh, northern Kenya. It's called Iguru, wo, uh, so where uh, we built it, where, where we did, uh, we did the, 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 the initiation of this car. And uh, here in Nairobi, we, 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 do, we are located in Nairobi, uh, River Road, uh, at the Modern Coast building upstairs. And uh, this car is uh, 180 kilometers per hour. It has uh, an SE Toyota. Uh, it is a half electric and auto. That's what makes it separate from other cars because uh, the fuel consumption is very low and it is very, very positive to the environment because uh, we don't do a lot of uh, production of uh, uh, carbon. So we limit it and then shift it to electric. Uh, it also helps it so much because sometimes, you know, currently we have high cost of fuel. Uh, it helps so with fuel, you don't have much, how much fuel. And yet it takes fuel like a motorbike. That's also another advantage. Uh, its compaction still remains the same, which also like gives it an advantage that if the fuel is done, you can still run it on electric, and the more it's running uh, on uh, the, the auto part charges the the electric, the the, the batteries that runs the elect the brushless motor. The brushless motor is is a, is a, is like another motor or an engine that is installed on the rear axle, and uh, it is uh, it uses the it's, it, it is uh, it helps it to to just see, uh, run automatically, just in the case you switch to the to the to the to the to the, to the to the electric side, it is 80 percent right now. It's not 100 percent, and on 100 percent of it, that's how like you can see most of the the way it is it's planned, it's planned, it's planned. Yeah. So so far it is 80 percent. That's why you don't see most of the features, and uh, we are still developing it. Uh, you know, we've been doing it at a low pace. We are doing it at uh, a personal pace because we have we are um, investing in you know the personal savings. Uh, but I hope that uh, you know where I've reached here, it is God's God's power and people's power. So that means we can still go on and you know we shall have to go on and add value on it. And one day it's going to be right. bit, yeah. The design. Yeah. What motivated you? Mm. Decided that you want to. So, first of all, for the design, I chose this design because uh, you know, in Africa here, you have to have something that it's great to have something that will be effective to you. Will it is not going to put you into cost? It is, uh, it is enough. So this car is enough. It's very strong. Uh, it's different from the industrial, other industrial cars or imported cars uh, that are very, very fluffy. They are very, they are not strong. Most of them are made out of uh, uh, just uh, still, still a, 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 a low steel um, millimeter. But this one is very high millimeter, and yet even its weight, it's, a, it's, it's, it's that it's enough. So that's why I chose this design. Uh, because so that it can do it can it is can be versatile. You can do anything with it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, for the assemble, we do assembling and designing because uh, you know we are in the world we are in the modern world whereby everything is there. You know we don't need to start from scratch. You go make the engine, do everything. You can always outsource and balance it with you use the environment. We use the environment and we make sure we can solve problems that we have as in Africa and also in and also you know, uh, 
uh, take it outside to global market, something like that. Yeah. So this particular car, uh, how many, uh, how many models they are supposed to be from different types of cars? Yeah. So for example, if we start with the steering mm. this one, mm. this is from which model? This one is a Nissan B13. Uh, the steering is Nissan 13 and the engine is the Toyota. Actually, we had used also the engine for Nissan. Now we had used the mechanism for Nissan, but uh, we realized that Nissan uh, accessories are very expensive and they are not just cars. So we shifted to a Toyota because uh, they are cheap, they are low cost, and uh, they are accessible everywhere. That's why we switched to the Toyota. And uh, um, uh, the, 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 the tire, the system, the, the mechanism down is based on Nissan B13, Nissan old car. And uh, the engine, the motor engine is based on Toyota. And then the body is what we own. Is uh, what I own as an artist. Right. Yes, the design. Yes. So you take credit for the yes. body? Yeah, for the design. For the body, the chassis. Just the, the complete design of it. And uh, what I'm asking for is uh, if uh, I can get sponsors who can help me uh, develop this, this project to 100% or develop it to a, a level that it's ready for market and uh, we duplicate it and start going into uh, uh, into, 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 start going into like commissions yeah, yeah long term is to, 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 to produce produce this, this, this prototype to duplicate it develop it to 100% uh, uh, launch the, the prototype uh, uh, commission the, the, the production plan and uh, get sponsors and commission it uh, commission it and uh, start producing and start selling them at uh, as low as the tuk tuk even lower than the tuk 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 so they can be effective to the people. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, yourself. Mm. Uh, do you have an history or rather background of no, mm. uh, me, I stopped in. Uh, uh, to be honest, I stopped in. Uh, in 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 in, in H, H, uh, It's called uh, here in, in in my country Uganda. It's called Senior Four. Senior Four is uh, like uh, a level. It's a half like a fifty percent of high school. Yeah. Uh, so when I did that, I went and did. Uh, technical or uh, technical uh, drawing uh, industrial art and uh, uh, and, and mechanics, mechanics yeah so and in, in when I was young I loved so much to, to create I love creating yeah. so that's how God created me and uh, uh, I'm a creator so yes sir. so that's how the whole Mm. Thing started. Yes, sir. You started as an uh, artist. Uh, yeah, I started as an artist and I'm an artist. I'm a visual artist. I also uh, I do. Ah, uh, that's how I survive. I paint. I do uh, abstracts. I do uh, landscapes. I do. I love doing uh, also um, imaginations. And then I love creating. I love my art to be in motion. That's why I come up with this. Yeah. Is this the first, uh, Man, this is the seventh production. That's why it's called the Mage M7. It's the first seven to one, yes. And uh, besides, uh, to add on on my studies, I did. Uh, I did also. Um, uh, uh, I've done a lot of courses, personal courses online. Uh, that's what. It, uh, that's why how it has been helping me. I've moved. I love moving so much different places to see new things, to see new ideas. Uh, and then we develop them into uh, an idea that I really love. Yes. Yes. So how many, how many such projects, such projects like this have you undertook? This is the first one, or we have done quite a couple of them. Uh, I've done. At, as I told you, I've done seven projects. I started with the motorbike. bike. Um, that was too long, and to just say it's like amateur work. Yeah, but it was yes! uh, it was just a passion, and then I did uh, mm, a go kart. These small go karts used the uh, one was using had a generator water pump. It was a 10 horsepower, and then the one was a uh, motorbike engine, and then the one was uh, a generator. Shifted it into emotion. 
and uh, they were so fun. They were so fun until how I reached this this this, this level, and I want to take it to electric, and balance it with electric, and uh, I think I thank God that I've reached on this level. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. When you launch a petition in Gambia, you're liquid in the bag in the flow. Give me me talk about.